guys and welcome. Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So this weekend I decided to take a little camping getaway to one of my favorite areas in the entire world. So I am actually deep in the heart of Virginia right now in the Appalachian Mountains and this is such a beautiful time of year to be here. Not only are the colors changing and it's just immense beauty, we have a forest full of amazing fungi and lynchen. So a rainstorm just came through and flooded out my crappy little tent so I am basically sitting in the car now waiting for the storm to be over. The wet season however is why I'm here and what brings out these amazing medicines. Some of these mushrooms are edible and some are not. But one thing is clear, they bring beauty and beneficial aspects to every bit of this forest. up just stumbling upon one of the most beneficial mushrooms on the entire planet which is reishi. Now for those that don't know about reishi mushroom it is an adaptogen mushroom and it's considered one of the most beneficial mushrooms on the planet for your overall health. Reishi is extremely high in antioxidants, it's able to boost your immune system, it helps to lower stress and it really can benefit you um, in times of sickness. Now this is a wonderful mushroom that I take a, a, a tincture of several times a week and often drink a tea of this. Now reishi is in the polypore family and it's extremely easy to identify. There are no poisonous lookalikes to this mushroom. Now today, um, because there is a few of them, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest one or two to dry out and then later use in my tea. Now I do have full intentions of eventually doing a video on how to make a mushroom extraction which is a double extraction process um, so maybe after harvesting some of these and getting through my mushroom season I will uh, upload that video so this is what you want to see with any polypore mushroom going to have these little pin size holes on the bottom instead of gills and you can see this beautiful reishi has such an interesting um, stem and I am just overall fascinated with fungi um, in general it's just such a fascinating organism that brings so many benefits to not only the forest but also our health Now throughout the world, there are over 80 different species of reishi, and most of these species are native to Asia. Today's variety that I found is Ganoderma sessile, and these mushrooms are extremely easy to identify. As with most reishi, they are kidney or fan-shaped, have a distinct red-orange color, sometimes with the white or yellow outer rim, and they always have a shiny lacquered finish. The underside of this mushroom should have pores as this is a polypore mushroom and the color variation should be tan or gray. I have the option of using this mushroom fresh, adding a few slices to some boiling water for tea, or I can slice it thinly and dry it for future use. Thank you. 
I continue to find absolutely amazing varieties of mushrooms and lynchens back in these forests. What a magical place. Out of all the places I've ever been, there's no place that steals my heart more than these mountains. Um, there's so much history and folklore that surrounds this place, and there's so much geology history. A lot of people don't know that the Appalachian Mountain Range is actually the oldest mountain range on the planet. And although they may seem very many mountains compared to the mountains out west, um, at one point in time, they were higher than the Himalayas. There are also so many magnificent medicinal and edible plants that reside in these hills. The mycelium and life-giving force of mushrooms is almost as old as the rocks themselves. It carries the wisdom and history of our great earth. Unfortunately, my camping weekend has to come to an end, so I'm going to be trading back from my tent to my teepee. But I've absolutely enjoyed my time this weekend. I came here for the purpose of mushroom hunting. It's the wet season here in these mountains, and it's actually been an extremely wet season. So there's just so much beautiful plant life and fungi and lynchens that are still blooming to life um, this late in October. So I love just coming down here and exploring, no matter the region, this is a wonderful time of year to be in the woods. And lucky for me, I'm only about an hour and a half from here, so I'm able to visit this amazing place frequently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get outside and get to harvesting that medicine. Stay wild. Mm -hmm.